Hello and welcome. It's a good day to be on the farm. My name is Chuck and this is a new series. That's right. It is Somerset episode one. And so we have started a new farm on a new map that just came out a couple of weeks ago, um, Somerset Farms. And we did new farm manager. So it started us with 15 hundred thousand dollars or 1.5 million is probably the better way to say that um as you can see it's august it's 8 33 in the morning and we're going to get started now the thing that makes this different than some other maps that i've played is i did farm manager which is where you kind of don't start with any land so let me um well we'll go look at that in a second but uh, even though i'm farm manager it started me with equipment so um there is equipment all over this place um, that is ours. So like we own three tractors here. We've got a case 115, a case Magnum 340, and a McCormick here. Um, and then we've even got a harvester, not a very big harvester, but a free harvester nonetheless. And, um, the header is right over here. I think that's a five meter header so um plus a cedar a planter a plow a cultivator um fertilizer spreader maybe a tipper um a weight uh whatever that is a harrow of some sort um front loader bucket and pallet forks and so on and so forth but we don't own any land yet and um, this is I'm assuming the starting area if you did new farmer because all the equipment is um, sitting in all these different sheds so that's cool um, but uh, we're not going to start right here because let me tell you what I took a look around and all of these fields are sugar beets there's sugar beets right here I'm going to guess that's technically the same field um, some of these other fields over here also have sugar beets on them. And then the fields that aren't sugar beet are corn and our harvester doesn't have a corn header. So it's a kind of a weird place to start. We've got all this equipment for farming, but the plants there, are the crops that are already planted around us, um, are not able to be farmed with the equipment that we have. So, uh, you know, you know me, I like to start new farms kind of wherever I want anyway. So I found a nice harvested field that we can start cultivating today, um, east of here, let's just say. So we're going to actually, um, jump in this case and go over there and let me show it to you and we'll kind of work our way around. Also, there are, um, oop, hit my shed already. Well, actually it's not my shed. Um, we're moving on. So I guess uh, we're terrible renters. Um, also, all over this map, there are um, collectibles, like there are in a lot of these um, Farm Sim 2022 maps, but luckily these don't seem to be worth very much. There's a hundred of them out there, but let me just grab that. So that's worth $1,000. There's nine more cows to be found. So uh, I've never actually done the collectibles in any of my series so far. There's one down there underneath. We have to move the harvester to get it. We'll get it anyway. Um, but I've never done the collectibles before, but they're like littering the map right here. And for only $1,000 each, I'm actually gonna pick them up. Now, in like um, that French map, whatever it was, that one was a pig, um, you know, they were worth like 50,000 each. The game cartridges were, or, or whatever it was. So I didn't want to get those um, because I didn't want to really mess up the game too much. But we've already got $1.5 million and we don't have to buy equipment. So I'm just grabbing all the collectibles. But like we got a trailer, a pig, a cow. I think that other one might have been a horse. Uh, more water trailers. So look, a bunch of collectibles already. More only at $5,000. I don't have any problems with that. Anyway. Um, here is our small case and the cultivator we have is pretty small too um, but we're going to back up here and grab it 
And this is just a three meter cultivator, so it will take a while to cultivate some of these fields like that. And because this is going to make it pretty heavy on the back, we're going to grab this weight as well and kind of balance things out. So, um, and hey, we're here. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, nine more cedars to be found. See, like, these are the kind of collectibles I can get behind. They're tiny. Um, they're all over the place. There's different things to collect, and they're only worth $1,000. So I'm not going to mess up my, my sim by grabbing them. So anyway, um, like I said, we don't own this land. So we're going to slowly but surely move all of our equipment out of here. Uh, am I going the right way? Uh, I think I might be going the wrong way. Nope, the road gets up here. Uh, so i got to figure out um, how to get around. Uh, and we'll see what fields to buy. I have two I'm going to buy right now. Um, and then I've got some questions for you guys, the viewers, to see kind of what you want this new series to look like. So um, there's some options, and you can certainly tell me in the comments kind of what we're looking for. Um, this might be the wrong way still. All right, I've got to check the map because I'm lost. Because, you know, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. Nope, here I am right in the middle, and I am driving in the right direction. Okay, but yeah, look at this. Like right around where you start, one sugar beet, two sugar beet, a corn. Canola's okay. And then these two tiny fields are harvested. Um, and then more corn. So there's really, like, you have a hard time getting a start, I think, in some of these fields. So that's why we're moving on. So um, let's go. Yeah, so it looks like the road goes this way. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna come over here. Um, it gets a little tight because of these stone walls, which do have collisions on, which makes sense because they're stone. Luckily, the shrubs don't in a lot of places that I've sort of driven through. Again, I've only spent about 10 minutes driving around just looking for a good spot that I wanted to start because I figured that'd be pretty boring for you to watch. Um, but now that I've found it, we'll kind of go from there. So, um, I'm going to kind of come over here. Oh, a little bit of a bump there. Oh, and we're in England, so i got to drive on the left. Always forgetting that. And let's see. How do we get into where I'm trying to go? Is there a little cut through here? No, there is not. We're going to have to turn around. Apologize, I'm still learning my way around this map. And a little bit on the hedges there. Oh, and now that guy's on the <laughs> other side of the road. Uh, I promise it won't be this chaotic most of the time. Let's, move. Let's see. Is there a road that cuts through up here? How do I get over there? Oh, here it is. Oh, I guess I can go this way. So there's this gas station here. And this road back here. So number one. Well, actually, number three. But I'll show you because we're here. Um, I'm considering buying this soybean field. But it does need plowing. So that's one of our options for fields. I'm going to let you guys vote on and see if you're interested in me pursuing or not. Um, but the fields that I do want to get are, um, how do we get there? So back down here, there are a couple of open sheds right here. Um, and then a couple of really nice big sheds that can store a lot of our equipment here. So let's just take a look inside and see. So there's this shed and this one over here. Oh, that's opening. We'll come back over here. Like, look at how deep this one is. You can put a lot of equipment in here. And um, same thing here. So two nice big sheds on this plot of land and two open sheds for equipment out here. So. I'm thinking that we should buy this yard 
instead of um, starting where we were going to start where there's no fields that we want to mess with. And there seems to be a silo here. So I'm assuming if we buy the land, we'll get the silo. But there's also the bale sell point is right here on this lot, as is um, this is one of the two sale points from the farm or from the map. So forget what that one's called. Um, farm store bay one. So if we go down to prices, everything that we can harvest is able to be sold at farm store bay one. So also convenient that uh, we don't have to drive very far to sell our goods from that silo 10 feet over to the farm store bay. So I think that might be kind of a fun setup to do on this map. So we're going to give that a shot as well. But I'm going to go back up to the top here. So Anyway, this is, oh, no, no, nope, yep, here we go, sorry. So this is available for $81,000. I think that is a steal um, for uh, a starting area that's got a couple of sheds and access to where we can sell our crops. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. Um, and that is now the only piece of land, we'll zoom out a little bit, the only piece of land we own. All of our equipment's over here. We'll slowly but surely bring it on over as we're getting started. The other two fields I want to buy are this one, which is sorghum, and this field 15 here, which is harvested um, or ready to be cultivated, uh, and we can go from there. Now, the question beyond that are these two fields between, so 16 has corn on it, we don't have a corn header, and field one has sugar beets. It's a nice big field. I would kind of like to have this and 15 and number one, but ugh, sugar beets. So <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to start with 15 and 18. Let me just go show those to you real quick. If I can figure out how to get there. Um, can I cut through? Yeah. So the access to 15 is back here. And it does not need plowed. Um, so we could just jump right in and buy this and cultivate and get going. Plus it's kind of a fun shape with this uh, dog leg kind of part back here behind the farm store. So I think that one would be pretty fun. Hey look, hot air balloon. So that's one I'm considering doing, um, and that's kind of why I brought this set up with um, the cultivator already on it, on this tractor, so that we can actually get started on that. And then over here, field 18 has sorghum on it. And I need to figure out where the access to this is. Uh, must be down on this end. But this would be another great field with a small crop on it that we can already harvest with our tiny little harvester and kind of go from there. Um, where is... I'm just going to cut through the bushes. So anyway, here is the sorghum. It does need plowing, but that's fine. This field isn't huge, so I don't think I would mind plowing that one with uh, the plow that we have just because it's long stretches and it's not that wide. So anyway, I'm thinking about buying this sorghum field as well. Uh, and then probably field 17 with those soybeans um, that I showed you at the beginning, or kind of when we walked into this area. Here's this field 16 with the corn. Now there's nothing to say that we couldn't get a corn header for a harvester but I just don't know. That's not something that we have right now. We have to look at all the equipment we have. So I think to start, let's just get 15 and 18, and then we'll have um, some crops ready to go. And you guys can tell me, what do you feel about that corn field or that soybean field? Um, and we can kind of go from there. So that's my plan. That's kind of how I'm thinking about starting this uh, new farm here on Somerset. And so that's, um, what I've got, uh, you know, kind of ready. Um, so I'm going to get started here cultivating 
on this field. Well, actually, I gotta buy it first. But once I buy it and then we start cultivating, um, then I think I'm gonna try uh, to uh, maybe do a cut till after I've got quite a bit of it cultivated or do maybe a time lapse where you guys can see me cultivating. We'll see how it turns out uh, in a minute. But so field 15, um, this one is 137,000 or 75 per hectare acre, which is not bad. This one's 72 per hectare acre. This one is 85 per hectare acre. And this one down here is 71. Ugh, but sugar beets. And look at that, silt clay, 92% only 91% yield bonus, that might not be a great field. So anyway, we will start with this one and we will buy that. And then we are going to buy this. So we've got the yard and the two fields. We'll slowly move our equipment over here. Um, you guys can help me decide between maybe the corn field, the soybean field, um, or some other things that we could maybe do. So. That's kind of where I'm at um, so far in this. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this field here now that we own it. And this fence is gonna be in the way, so that's gonna be kind of annoying. Um, but we'll just start in the back here. I like this little dog leg. I think this is gonna be kind of fun to, to figure out how to farm. Let's see, if we back up here but a three meter cultivator is not huge. So we'll go ahead and lower that. And I lowered that front weight by accident. So let's lift that back up. And then we should be able to just, is that gonna do anything to the ground at all? No, it's already cultivated. So I guess we could be planting. I thought this was a harvested one, like these purple ones. Um, well, plowed or harvested um, that we could cultivate. So I guess I don't need to do that. Anyway, so I guess I need to go back and get the planter or maybe just park this one with the cultivator in the shed that we now own and bring a different one out with one of the planters and grab some seeds on my way. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah. So uh, already making a mistake. Well, you know, that's kind of the name of this game. Uh, as you're working your way through um, different things, it really is super easy um, to get confused about what order you need to do things in or to try to figure out what you want to do. Um, with your field. So I guess I don't need to cultivate that. So let's lower that weight again. Let's come back here. We'll lift this up. Well, I guess we're ready to start planting, which is always a bonus. Um, so let's take a look here. Well, now I feel like I should buy one of those fields that needs cultivated just because I've got this whole thing ready to cultivate. Um, let's see, where was the nearest one? This one is plowed, 36, and it's right across the street from R18. And let's see, 74 per hectare acre, 110% yield bonus, expected yield potential because it's got good soil. Yeah, why don't we why don't we drive over there and look at that one? Since we're all ready to go, look at that, guys. We're already aud audibling in the very first episode, which, if you've watched any of my other series, shouldn't shock you at all. I make a plan, then I change the plan, then I tend to maybe change it again and go from there. So, um, yeah. Uh, you can expect lots of twists and turns in this series, as in all of my series. I don't know what I'm doing. I just make it up as I go. And uh, so, if we need to, that's what we do. So, pull out onto the main road here. 
and then we'll take this road down here. So we just go around the gas station. Nope, this isn't the main road. This is that little road between those houses. And also I think the only access to our sorghum field, which is not great, but we'll figure that out as we go. What is this field 50? Yeah, it's been cultivated as well. Don't want another cultivated field. I want something I can cultivate myself. All right, where is the access to this field 36? Let's see, is it plowed? It is plowed. We just have to figure out how to get in there. This is a little bigger than maybe I was intending to get. And also with a three meter cultivator, I will be cultivating this thing for days, which is maybe okay. But at least this one is on the way from the farm. All of my other equipment is down that road there. This is the other place I thought about starting, not necessarily with this one, but with uh, 26 over here that's ready to be cultivated. And this one that's ready to be cultivated, a couple of smaller fields. So we could always do that, I suppose, too, but we just bought that shed. Now we don't want to mess with this. Um, maybe at some point in time. So this one is plowed. Um, no data found on the soil. So we would just have to kind of make it up as we go. And it does look straight over at those buildings that are over by. Hey, we're a lot closer to that air balloon or it's moving. Um, so it is quite a bit closer to those. It's just kind of across the street from those main farms. So I don't know. Interesting. You tell me what you guys think. Um. We've got the cultivator here. We've got it ready on the tractor. I'm gonna go ahead and park this here and just take a look at this. Um, how much one would this cost? This one would cost 153,000. That's actually not too bad. Then we kind of have our three fields set up in this sort of weird shape that would probably mean we wouldn't get the soybeans up here. So I don't know. I'm open to interpretation. I'll let you guys are open to suggestion, not interpretation. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and park our cultivator over by here and let's go grab a cedar and uh, a couple of bags of seed. And we will get started with field 15 down here because it's ready to plant. So let's... Um, I'll leave this here. You guys tell me if in episode two you think we should get this and start cultivating. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and flip over to what's our really big tractor, our case there. How much? Well, first, what can we plant this time of year? We can plant um, canola. And that is it. If we wait till September, we can plant wheat and barley. But canola is a good cash crop, and we don't really know what we're doing yet, so canola is fine with me. So let's look at our cedars, because I know we have a cedar and a planter. The cedar can plant canola. That's the Sintia 3000 Super, the Amazon Sintia, or Amazon Sintia, and the planter uh, does... Soybean, corn, sugar beets, cotton, things like that. So we don't want the Prisia. We want the Centaya 3000 Super. Also three meters and does not require very much horsepower at all. Um...
Well, so I guess that would mean the McCormick. Because look, we have we have one small tractor, which is the one we already took. We've got a medium tractor, which is a McCormick at 264, and then this one is 374 for our case. So uh, yeah, McCormick it is. And then we want the cedar, not the planter. Sintaya Super, that's what we wanted. Oh, hello, what are you doing? Oh, those were separate. It's another one of those deals where it has the hero attached to the cedar. All right, so now we need some seeds. Um, let me check the map here. We are right here. The farm store is right here. So if we take a right, should be able to grab some seeds on our way. Down here. Oh, like a parked car on the side of the road. That's interesting. Oh, that truck is driving fast. As is, well, that car was not driving that fast. I was just going around the turn. So I believe this is the farm store here. Oh, sorry, dude. I was looking at the farm store. Yeah, I don't know. These stone walls around the roads are interesting. That might be an issue at some point in time. Let's see. What capacity did this cedar have? 1,600 liters. So let's go ahead to here. And a big bag of seeds is 1,000. So we will just go ahead and get two big bags. And they appeared right over here. So we'll open this up. And fill one up. And then take 60% of the second one. Close the lid of that. So we should have, what, 400 liters left. Next time we're coming by with a front loader, we'll grab that and get that brought over. And make that turn without too much trouble. There's a lot of equipment on the back of this. Um, I wonder if this is going to have any trouble pulling this. It shouldn't at 264. But uh, with that harrow, you never know. Um, so I could probably have used that weight that is sitting on the front of our other tractor. But that is just fine. And I want to get... Field's actually right there. Oh, hello, traffic. I'm just going to cut through our field since we technically own 18 here. And this should be our field 15. So let's go ahead and just see if we can plant with this setup. I'm always a little skeptical when we're trying out new equipment um, because of what happened on my Erlengrot series with that Power Hero and that uh, thing. So we want to make sure we switch to canola, like so. We should be able to just lower the whole thing. And turn it on. And let's see what happens. Yeah, 
is that yep that's growing okay so we should be good to go well there we go we are planting canola in our very first field field 15 here I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit for that and it's going to take us a while at three meters wide but that's just fine so we'll go ahead and get this started and lift it up here and we will have to see kind of what the best way to to break this field down is i actually think i'm gonna loop back around oh, through the hedge this way and we're going to try to square off this corner up here and as you can see there are certainly some stones in this field so we'll want to get a roller and kind of push those back in um, and it's got this little corner up here too which is interesting um, can we plant right up to this we should be able to so we'll go ahead and lower this here get this started I don't know I like funny shaped fields they can be kind of kind of frustrating at times but they're also just kind of fun to figure out the geometry of it and uh, you know how how much you want to go from one angle to the other that looks to be pretty straight here so is this 90 90 would be right here so at some point in time, well, let's just see. If we take this strip at 90 degrees. We're going to start kind of overlapping into the grass here in a second, and that's just fine. We're just trying to figure out how to break this field in half. Um, this should be pretty good regardless. So yeah, this will sort of break off that dog leg, and so I'm going to work on these two side sections. And then we'll plant this section over here last, and then get a roller and kind of roll this stuff in. So that's going to take a little while, but that's okay. Everything in Farm Sim takes a little while. So let's see, how does our map look now? So yeah, we've made kind of a diagonal that way. And so we'll take this next row all the way back and that'll give us a triangle to fill in here. And then we can um, work on this part of the field here. And then we'll do this little dog leg at the end. Um, because that's the access to the field anyway, so we don't want to drive over that more times than we need to. So that's roughly the plan for me, um, but I think that might also be it for episode one. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and giving it a watch. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more episodes like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe and comments really do help. Even if you just want to say hi, I do appreciate that, and I will do my best to respond to everybody who does that on this video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep working on this, um, but we will uh, catch you in episode two here. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and have a good day. Bye-bye.